Are you prepared for time to stand still? Well, that's what's about to happen at midnight tonight when we get a 61 second minute. Well, while well, you might be ready, the real question is, are our tech gadgets and computers ready for this extra second? Joining us now to discuss is Dan Costa, Editor-in-Chief at PCMag.com. Dan, great to speak with you this morning. Thanks for having me. This is called the Leap Second. Can you explain what exactly is happening here? Yeah, it's, it's basically a jury-rigged solution to a pretty basic problem, which is that calculated time or atomic time works at one speed, and then the spin of the Earth works at a different speed. So over time, um, there's small variations that show up. It's not a lot, but um, over the course of a year, year and a half, it could be a second. So the leap second is an idea of just stopping the clock and adding that second on to sort of bring the two clocks into phase. Which is actually really fascinating, because I didn't realize that the Earth's rotation was actually slowing, and there's something called moon drag that's causing all of this. Uh, but the last time that we saw a leap second added was, um, well, we saw companies such as LinkedIn and Mozilla crash because of this. Uh, why was that the case, and what are the consequences of tinkering with time? I mean, for example, how are computer companies preparing for that extra second tonight? Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. It's amazing how many computing processes actually are really reliant on time. Uh, when you calculate GPS coordinates, that's time-based. When you look at uh, how your system runs and your calendars and all of that, even right down to the encryption on your system, all of that ties into having the exact correct time. So it's actually a really important variable. And it's not that hard to calculate for, except when people stop the clock and actually change it. So, I mean, you can go in and you can fix this, and we've been prepared for this for a, a long time, but there's always a couple of applications that slip through. It sort of reminds us of the, the Y2K bug, which didn't turn out to be a huge problem, but there were a lot of little problems that happened. And, I, I suspect we're going to see some of those tonight, too. Yeah, and I, I'm glad you brought up Y2K because I know it's something you, you've covered in the past. Um, to keep in tune with the Earth's rotation leap seconds, uh, that's been added to clocks something like once a year, but this might be the last time. Now, can we explain why there's a controversy here? I mean, for the record, where do you stand on this issue? Yeah, I mean, it's the thing is, I mean, this is a good, so this is an okay solution to the problem, but it does take a lot of work. It takes a lot of programming. There's always problems that slip through. So the, the alternative would just be to let time be the way it is. Um, and what would be the consequence? You'd lose a second about a year. After 100 years, you'd be about three minutes out of phase. Um, after 700 years, you'd be about 30 minutes out of phase. So if the sun sets in 700 years from now at 8.05 instead of 8.35, how big a problem is it? And how, much, how many hours of computing time would it save us in terms of fixing these solutions every year? So I'd be inclined to let it go for a little bit Let's all agree on one time. Let's not add a second at a time. And if in 700 years we want to take a half hour back, we could just do it then. Take a half hour back in 700 years. Well, it's not an issue we're going to have to worry about. So we could just kick, it, kick that can on down the road. Dan Costa, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.